Hi everybody, welcome to Garden Devotions. Um, this is like, I'm standing on my back porch, my outside back porch, and this is what's encroaching on it that's making it like hard to get in and out. Um, I wanted to do a little update from my last video that was kind of a downer because, you know, I was very discouraged because of how you can see things have gotten out of hand in my backyard and the next day after I posted that video after I shot the video and posted it um, my nephew one of my nephews called me well sent me a text message and he said hey um, my my great nephew his son is the one that normally mows and he said well he's on vacation so he's not going to be able to do your lawn and so I'm going to come and mow it. Is it okay if I also trim things up and cut down some things and I know use Roundup? Uh, I'm not real fond of Roundup, but in this case, I, I'm willing to accept it uh, to, to help, you know, get rid of some weeds and things. And I said, you know what? That would be wonderful. So he did not know about that video. He has not seen that video, far as I know. He has no clue that I posted that or that I was in such distress. But God knew I was in distress. And I cried out to him. I cried. <laughs> and I cried out to him. And he provided. So I'm so excited that he hasn't been able to come yet. It's been a couple days, but that's because the weather has been, like, really stormy. And right now it's, it's rather chilly um, in the 60s, low 60s, I think. But I kind of like it because it's been so hot lately. This is nice. Um, yeah, so that's where I was. And so I, I appreciate all the prayers that went up for me because God listens. And he heard my plea. <laughs> so this is going to look different. And I'm hoping really that this is one of the things that goes. So I don't have to deal with this when I walk out my back door. Um, I don't think he can get to all of it without moving the kennel fence, but he could get a big part of it, and that would really help me out tremendously. And these over here, again, I'm sorry for the wobbly camera, but um, there was no room to put the, <laughs> the tripod. But anyway, so here, if he can get rid of that, oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> that would help me out and make me feel so much better. So I wanted to give you an update. I still have a lot of videos that I have not done and put up that are of the garden before it was inundated by weeds. So I will get to those, but for now I wanted to post this and let you know how grateful I am to God for answering my prayer. So this is going to look a lot different when he gets a chance to get out here and take care of it. Um, he, unfortunately, his son did not get his gardening gene. <laughs> but, but he's really good at gardening and uh, I think that in landscaping, taking care of landscape. So I really think that, that this will look significantly different after he gets to it. So once again, thank you, Lord, for answering my prayer. And I thank you guys for praying for me. So talk to you later. Bye-bye. Welcome to Garden Devotions. I wanted to kind of give a little visual update on the answered prayer I showed this in the other video, I'm pretty sure, but you can see that the bushes have been trimmed and a lot of the stuff, the bad stuff is out of there now. And he even trimmed the hostas back, so I don't have to worry about that. There was a tree back here behind my rhododendron and uh, he got rid of that, so I don't have to worry about that either. And then over here, oh, he even did my sidewalk and got rid of all the grass along there which will make it tons easier when I have to do the um, show, snow shoveling this winter. I don't have to do it much. Fortunately I have some very very nice people on my block who have snow blowers and really this block is like two and a half blocks long. My, my street is two and a half blocks long and so a lot of times they do the whole thing. They just go up and down go down one side and up the other okay look there is a rose bush there I told you there was so he's got that for me 
this was the huge this the thing down at the bottom is like the Queen Anne's lace and I think what he did was he he drilled down in there um, put holes in the stems and then he sprayed some Roundup I'm not a Roundup fan I understand but it really was just so bad I had to agree to let him do that because you know that's just it, it had to be so um, he did cut back the ra raspberries we'll see next year which ones he cut back but it looks a lot nicer. And that's a side of my house people see. Now, some of the stuff I'm sure will be dying in the near future because of the, um, you know, the roundup and everything. But look, this, you can see the difference. First of all, I can now get in and out of my back door. Now, he couldn't get underneath there to get the root of the problem. So that'll have to wait until we do something with the dog kennel. But, uh, and we still have some grass here we got to deal with. But look, no trees. No trees. Oh, I love it. That's so great. No trees. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy of that. Okay. I'm not sure. Um, he might not have known that this, all of this I don't really want. But he did trim it up. So, it's better. <laughs> um, we may just have to wait until it dies off and then take care of it then. He really didn't do much with the garden um, because he did along the edge of the garden. You can see that. Although he's got one great big weed there he didn't take. He may not have known it was a weed, although it is. But th See, he cut over here. Um, we still have some Rosa Sharon we're going to have to deal with. Um, but he probably didn't want to do anything with those just because he wasn't sure. And I was not home when he was here. So he couldn't, there was a lot he couldn't do just because he didn't know what I wanted done. Okay? So I'm just so thrilled. The biggest thing is this right here. That's a difference. I will take a picture from the other video and I will put it in here so you can see the difference between them because, wow. So this was a huge, huge, huge answered prayer for me because that was getting very, it was weighing on me because I knew it had to be cleaned up and I just knew I couldn't do it. So it was quite an answer to prayer. I really appreciate him doing that. Um, he and his son did that for me so what a blessing I appreciate that so just wanted to let you know and I'll stick this at the end of the other part of the video the answered prayer part um, where I showed you a little bit well I told you that I had the answered prayer so yeah this is just a few days later so it's all been done within just a few days I'm so excited um, yay <laughs> so Stay tuned. I'm sorry. I'll get back to the garden devotions. It's just been a few weeks of, of difficulties and a lot of, emo uh, not emotional, but physical, physical stress and physical energy, that, energy expenditure is what I like to call it. It was three weeks of energy expenditure, high energy expenditure. So... Like I said, I will get back to it. I've got a couple videos that I'm explaining what I was doing and why I had those physical um, energy expenditures. But for now, I just wanted to let you know and look at the beautiful back of my house. You can actually see it again. <laughs> so I really appreciate him doing that. Oh, that was nice. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.